Todd, there's a show going on. I'm excited. Folks, I'm welcome. Excited. Paul and I here, and as I just mentioned, my right. Todd Roy, together we're making Game Talk Live. We are right. literally making it. Yeah, this is in the process. It's live. Todd's hunched forward. Now he's back. I'm trying to engage the audience out there. We have about 14 million people watching. Yeah, right. now last I checked, it was just scraping 14, so this is important. Todd, uh, you were sick. I was sick. Now you feel 100%. I feel about 85%. 85% the uh, official tabulation we're going to go with? I was sick. Uh, the technical term is icky poo. Icky poo. <laughs> That's what the medical that doctor was... said when he diagnosed me. Sure. He's like, this is real icky poo, uh, level four. That's what the banner ad on WebMD Apparently, said. Apparently, I had uh, bird flu herpes. Yeah. No, and I know how you get that, too. And that's not a good thing to get. I don't even know how I got it, but it involved eating chicken. Probably handshakes. Handshakes <laughs> in this day and age. So Nintendo posted... A lot, uh, of, yeah, a lot of loss. A lot of loss. On yeah. Friday, there's a lot of loss. They're saying that they're expecting profit losses in 350 million bucks after predicting that they would have you know, profits close to a billion dollars. Yep. One of the uh, hypotheses as why Nintendo is in bad shape is because they've re removed autonomy from Nintendo of America. Okay. used to be that Nintendo could operate, you know, obviously they've always been part of Nintendo of Japan, but they had their own, they, they could operate under their own accord and what yeah. have you. So they booted the West Coast office, basically. Pretty right? much. And uh, now it all started under Japan. Now it's, everything runs through Japan. That uh, was one of the main issues. Well, if there's anything Americans like are all of Japan's sensibilities. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> this, this isn't about your dating. That dat was a smart business This move. isn't about your dating life, Todd. There is a uh, channel on YouTube called Let's Play, which is showing people playing video games primarily, and you watch him to get secrets and do walkthroughs. Yeah, yeah. This is what his podcast was about, just to put it in context sure. for what people are watching. So please, you now have the floor, sir, from the UK. So uh, basically, what I was saying on my podcast about Let's Play videos is that it gives people a chance to um, view video games in a quite a unique way. Maybe these are games that they don't have, you know, the finances or the uh, technical equipment to play. Uh, myself, I don't have a very good PC gaming rig, but by viewing Let's Play videos, I get an insight into what's going on in the PC gaming market and what's happening there. And also, it's kind of lets me experience games that I might not be able to afford to buy. And that's what stuck out to me, too, when you said it was like an audiobook. Because yeah. I'm not a big, I mean, yeah. I'm a halfway decent reader. Well, that's how most narrative video games feel. It feels like you're playing a book now. But it's so true, because a lot of these games move so fast, and unless you're a... Well, not if you have fast twitch muscle control like I do, But I'm not move really slow. But yeah, to get as good, to, to get as, to enjoy so many gaming experiences, you have to play the, excuse me, have to play the game so long just to see that. Yeah. But it allows you to cut to the chase and see these yeah. guys in the game tournaments and what have you. Do you ever find yourself arguing with people that will defend watching sports like soccer or football? Which in the America is different from football in the UK, yeah. which is soccer. We're down the we're down the wormhole music. now. Uh, do you get into arguments with people like that uh, that will defend watching sports, but won't view that people that are watching video games necessarily as the same type of like activity? Um, I don't I don't think get in arguments. I enjoy watching sports as well, so I can see definitely the the, the appeal of both of them. But I think there's definitely um, a misunderstanding of why it is enjoyable to watch someone else play a game and maybe there is a, a, a combination that can be made between the two things that they are quite similar pursuits. Watching someone uh, t take the pigskin from the 50 yard line to the touchdown is, sure. is no different than someone escorting Ashley in Resident Evil 4 to, to, to safety. Yeah. Surely. Or that game in Afghanistan where they kick a goat head around. That's, not the, that's, a, that's a different, different skin, Todd. And let me get on to, into your podcast, because you say you've done it for a couple of years. This is the first time I stumbled on it. Is it a weekly thing? What's your background? What made you want to tackle this subject? You as a gamer, can you describe your experiences? Um, I, I do a podcast every month, me and um, three, other, three of my friends. Every yeah. month? We have a whole... Yeah, we have oh, a whole sort cute. of series of We shows. do our show every day. That's cute. Yeah, that's we do it once a really? month. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just not as active, obviously. Yeah, that's uh, all right. Just, <laughs> we probably drink um, more coffee and cry yeah. more, so it's all yeah, good. We, we have less social life <laughs> yeah. than you do. It's so, a yeah. trade off. Well, I, <laughs> I got turned on to your podcast because Paul found it, and I did listen to it. It was really interesting. And and uh, for anyone that's watching the stream, you guys should really check it out. And uh, well, Guru, can you put up the link? Introspectivepodcast.com. That's that's the mothership yeah. for it, correct? 
Yeah. Um, well, at least that's the one podcast I heard, so it was very nice to hear that. And it wasn't in defense of esports as much as it was just like, hey, I think this is why we're doing this, which I thought was interesting. And on a personal note, because you're from the UK, I was pretending I was listening to a Harry Potter book on tape. It's yeah. kind of cool. <laughs> so, so there's that aspect, Yeah, there was too. steam can, coming from his room, yeah. so I can vouch for that. Well, stuff and things, guys. So this is an interesting... If you want more information on this, like how you could get involved if you're a college student or what have you, more information, go to EliteLoungeLive.com slash GTL. The site that we put all our stories um, on every MK damn day. MK Ultra, oh my God, they're teaching that stuff in universities now. Um, yeah, why not? I mean, if you think about it, MK. Well, but, but the, the second part is just easy money from students that in no way will help them. Well, though. no, I disagree with that, MK, and I'll tell you why. Because um, I'm angry. No, that's not why. Yeah, he's got a fever. Uh, look, you can go to university and you could study music because you want to be a television composer or a film composer, right? Everyone's all like, yeah, that's a, that's a, uh, a path they could lead to money based in the entertainment industry. But sometimes people forget that the video game industry dwarfs all of those industries, industries combined. So to specifically target video game music specifically isn't necessarily a bad idea. And if there's a university that can help you uh, get a foot into that door, then it seems like it's a pretty big playground. No? Disagree with me? Can't. My argument is perfect. In yeah. Any way. The, unfortunately, you. at the end of the day here, I mean, yeah. we, we have... Yeah, yeah. My argument is perfect. Well, all right, guys. I can't that's, believe an hour has gone by. I tell you what, and, it's like uh, we just got here, our right? Our viewers have gone up. I, that's hard to believe. Yeah, something's wrong. Uh, it's got to be a glitch. I want to thank our guest from the yeah, UK. Yeah, thank you very so much, Sam. Thank you very much for Sam. tuning in. Right. Tell hey. all your friends Thanks at the... Pub. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we got your link in there. Check out all of his stuff on the podcast. We're here every damn day, Monday through Friday. We until hope you cheered up your Monday a little bit. Yeah, 5 to 6 <laughs> Pacific time. Uh, we got a whole new batch of stories tomorrow. Nothing stolen, I don't I'm think. I'm on antibiotics, so I will yeah. only get better as time yeah. goes on. So he's only going to start saying more delirious stuff. <laughs> anyway, folks, I'm Paul. He's Todd. Until tomorrow, drive safe. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys.